hello good afternoon eh, I'm sorry que me había equivocado de sala me había metido en otra sala por eso
Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you? How hello. are you today? Hello. Good afternoon, fine. Yes, yes. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. So, hey, everybody. Thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for joining today's class. Gracias por unirse a la sesión número dos. Gracias por estar con nosotros, you know, and uh, super important eh, de continuar and, and be ready eh, to continue this process. Vamos con nuestra semana número dos de cuatro, all right? So pretty much es como eh, la mitad del módulo here so far. Eh, vamos um, a avanzar un poco también en los temas, pero les quiero agradecer antes a todos, you know, por... Eh, la colaboración completando la plataforma por estar súper pendiente de ella. Eh, I was checking and super buen score. Eh, vi mucho 100 por ahí, you know, 96, 95. Así que excelente trabajo con eso. Muchísimas gracias. Eh, también con attendance, sus reportes de asistencia están súper, súper geniales. Tengo casi al 90% con eh, 100% de asistencia. Así que thank you so much for that as well. Uh, today we are going to continue with one of the topics that we have and uh, well, solamente me confirman please, si los que tenían dificultades con la plataforma ya todos pudieron entrar, todos tienen acceso, uh, yes. o alguien todavía estamos como pendientes. Yo ya pude entrar, ya completé todo, así que ya estuvo. Perfecto, muchísimas gracias, Miss. Thank you so much. Estábamos pendientes todavía de resolver la parte del acceso con algunos compañeros, but, but thank you. Yo, yo esperaría que ya estemos como eh, ready with that part, right? So, in the meantime, vamos a ver un par de, de cosas ahora. Eh, como siempre lo hacemos, voy a pasar a asistente antes. So, permítame un segundito. And I call out your names. So, El proceso es el mismo, leo su nombre en If I Mention Your Name, me ayudan con un present, please, para, con propósitos de seguimiento para que nuestros encargados de InSupport puedan ver que ustedes están acá. That you are super ready to go ahead and get classes going. So, Esmeralda, Ana Esmeralda Rivera, ¿está por acá? Todavía no. Ana Rebeca Ruiz. Present. Gracias, Miss Andrea Alessandra. Okay. Gracias, Claudia Elizabeth. Eh, Cruz Elizabeth. <coughs> okay, I'm sorry. So Cruz Elizabeth is not here. Eh, Daniela Stephanie. Daniel está por acá. Delmi Esperanza. Present. Gracias. Diego Salvador. <coughs> Dilia Yacira. Present. Gracias, Dilia. Yes, thank you. Eh, Douglas Gilberto. Present. Thank you. Fátima Abigail. Present. Gracias, Fátima. Fátima Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Ingrid Chamara. Present. Thank you. It is Wendy. Josué Adalberto. Present. Thank you. Karen Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Karen, let me see. Carla de Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Miss. Catherine Giselle. Catherine Tatiana. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Mercy Stephanie. Milagro Elizabeth. Raquel Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Reina Isabel. Vilma Contreras. And Walter Alberto. Walter? Creo que Walter. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Present. Okay. Thank you so much. 
Okay, everybody. So, uh, thank you so much for joining. All right. Thank you for being here. Diego. Hey, Diego, you're there. Okay. Diego, solo ayúdenme a activar el micrófono, please, para que me quede registrado. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Un segundito, solo marco la asistencia de Diego. Today is, oh my God, today is the first. El primero de febrero. Oh my goodness, no me había dado cuenta que era el primero de febrero. So, acá Diego, Salvador, Luna, okay. Okay, thank you. So thank you everybody for, for being with us, you know, thank you for joining today's class. Vamos a continuar el día de ahora trabajando en la sesión número dos, all right, section number two. For that, les comparto mi pantalla and I'm gonna share part of the things that we are working on. Um, okay. Hi, Miss, disculpa, acabo de, fui a hacer un mandado y acabo de venir por eso entre tarde. Oh, thank you, Miss. No worries, no worries. Eh, ya le voy a tomar el, el segundo control de asistencia para eh, que me quede siempre registrado que usted está por acá. No worries. Thank you so much. Gracias por unirse siempre. Okay, so, okay, let me just share with you. Vamos a, a seguir trabajando with part of the things here. Eh, estamos el día jueves, trabajamos con la sesión 2.1, right? que es trabajar un poquito con vocabulario. Today, vamos a trabajar con, by the end of the class, you will become familiar with the usage of this and this, okay? So it says here, vamos a trabajar con this, cómo utilizar this, y cómo utilizar these, okay, in plural words. But antes de dar inicio, I want to play this video for you. And, um, let me just take a look here. Y vamos a ver también si nos recordamos un poquito del vocabulario que ya revisamos, right? That is very important as well. So I don't know if you have seen this video. No sé si ya revisaron este video here. Y si no, pues igual revisémoslo really quick. Vamos a solventar dudas, right? Y luego we take a look. Entonces, déjenme ponerles este video por todo. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll become familiar with this and these. Before I start explaining this topic, we're going to listen to a quick audio which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and repeat. Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Oh, uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of this and these, I would like to start by explaining the following. Number one, you're going to use this, that's spelled out T-H-I-S, whenever you're talking about one object, which is near you. Number two, you're going to use these, that spell out T-H-E-S-E -E, whenever you're talking about two or more objects which are near you. On a different class, I'll explain how to use that and those. So as you can see on the screen, there is a camera. And therefore, whenever we talk about one object, we're going to say, this is a camera. If we want to ask a question about a particular object which is near to us, we will ask in the following way. What's this? It's an earring. On the other hand, on the screen, you also see two cameras. And therefore, whenever you refer to two or more objects which are near from you, you will say, these are cameras. Notice that the article A from the previous example disappears because we're no longer talking about one object, but instead two or more. If we want to ask a question about two or more objects which are near to us, we will ask in the following way. What are these? 
their earrings or their cameras, for example, right? For our practice exercise, I would like for you to look at the image and practice making questions and answers. For example, what are these? They're keys. What's this? It's a CD player. You're going to do the same with numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6. After you complete your work, you should share it in our discussion forums. Okay, everybody. So this is pretty much uh, the most important, um, you know, use of this and this. Okay. Le voy a compartir mi pantalla. I'm going to share my whiteboard here para que podamos ver como poquito, poquito, right? Every single part that we have. So what is the difference? Okay. What is the difference between uh, singular, this, and the word this? Okay. It's super easy. First, la pronunciación de este es como una E, casi una E. So, it's pronounced this, this, all right? On the other hand, esto se pronuncia these. Listen again, this, these, okay? Es como una E, right? So, this and this. Now, this is used with is, this is, right? This is, plural, these are. These are. Es como si uniéramos las dos sonidos. These are. Now, this one lo uso para uno. I'm going to use it cuando se presentando un objeto. Okay? Oh, this is my cell phone. All right? I got, for example, a camera. Oh, this is my camera. Okay? This is my camera. Pero si yo tengo dos, I cannot say this is, but I'm going to say these are. So these are. My, okay, si tuviera dos teléfonos, these are my, y ya no sería cell phone, sino sería cell phones, plural, right? Or if I don't have one camera, sino si tuviera dos, tres, cuatro cámaras, ya no serían, oh, estas, estas son mis cámaras, but these are my cameras, okay? So the idea here is that this word, okay, represent more than two, okay? And this is represents only one object, okay? This is only one object. So this is my, okay? Or we can say, for example, this is a, this is an. La vez anterior veíamos un poquito de cómo usar a and an, I think, if I'm not wrong. So we can use this one. So this is this is a cell phone, this is my cell phone, this is my sister's cell phone, etc. So vamos a verlo like little by little here. So please everybody, I'm going to, well first, antes de poder practicar un poquito más esta parte, let's take a look at the previous video one more time. So let's take a look at this one. I'm going to use this. I would like to start by about one object. Give me one second. Give me one second here. Remember, we talk about one object which is near to us. We will ask in the following way. You will say, these are cameras. Notice that the article object, but instead two or more, they're earrings or they're cameras. For Open this box. Okay. Oh, uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of Okay, this, everybody. So, antes de, oh, antes de like, you, move Helen. on, okay, before moving on to, to this practicing part, vamos a practicar un poquito de, de, de pronunciation, right? The person sees this, uh, hey, wow, what's this? It's a, it's a camera, okay? Um, and then the person says, oh, they are earrings, right? Aritos, they are earrings. They are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. So first, okay, I would like to listen to a couple of you read the conversation for us. It's very important that we ask the questions. What are these? ¿Qué son estos? What are these, right? Or what's this? So what's this? Remember, eso es como un de this, y este es 
these. Okay. So, uh, volunteers, I uh, would like to know if I have any volunteer here. Okay, Josue, thank you so much, Josue Cordova. <laughs> Josue, you will be my first volunteer. You will be Wendy and Ana Rebecca. So, Ana, you will be my second volunteer and you will be Helen, right? So, podemos cambiarlo. We can change this and, uh, well, Solamente acá, por ejemplo, donde dice thank you, Rex. Solo podemos cambiar como thank you, Ana. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Josué. Right. To make it more personal. Thank you, Helen. So, pero como no son Helen, so uh, thank you, Ana. Thank you, um, Josué. Right. So, Josué, you can get started. Nos ayuda a leerla, please. Read it como si fuera algo like supernatural. And then, Ana, me ayuda, please, con Helen. Sería lo primero. Yes, you are the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, what is this? ¿Con quién me tocó? No me acuerdo. Ana, with Ana. Ah, okay. What is what it is? Wow. It's a camera. Okay, Ana. Thank you very much. You continue, Josué, you continue. Ah, sí. sí, él lo sigo yo, no el verdad. Yeah, he continues. Ah, bye. This part, oh. Josué. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, oh, cool, thank you. You, Ana, it's great. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here. Oh. oh, no, 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 wait. Tenemos como una, ter una tercera persona. We got a third person. Yeah, you're right. Gotcha. So, Andrea, Alessandra, please. Andrea, help us. And you will be Rex. Andrea, are you with us? Yes. Hope what this? Let me, solo que se le escucha un poquito lejos. I don't know, no sé si es mi mic microphone. Can you speak again, um, please? Can you? Oh, no, ahora sí le escucho bien. Es mi, mi audífono. Tell me, tell me. Okay. Solo ayúdenme con esta, please. Okay, uh, what are these? They are air things. No, oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, iba abajo. Okay, never mind. Yeah, they are earrings. Yes. Oh, they're in interesting. Thank you, very, very, very nice. Okay. Thank you. Actually, that was for Wendy. So, Josué, nos toca la última parte. <laughs> you go with this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. That was good. That was good. Josué, ayúdame a leer el último pedacito, please. How the, how the air in the resting? Mm -hmm. Thank you. When that is Andrea. Thank you, Andrea. Le cambiamos acá donde dice Rex, Andrea. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Andrea. Mm -hmm. Tayari, very nice. Yes, very good. Okay, thank you, guys. That was good. That was good. So I know that it's kind of confusing that way, but thank you. You did a very good job. Exactly. So the person says, what is this and what are these? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué son estos? Right? So now let's take a look at a couple of exercises here. Uh, what are these? Uh, never mind. Let Number me two. See. Notice that the article, I would like for you to look at the image. Okay, and this is for you guys. So these are some exercises uh, for you to practice this and this, okay? 
Um, so it says right here, what are these? They are earrings. Algo bien importante es lo siguiente. Si me preguntan en singular, es porque quiero saber solamente de uno, right? For example, this is a camera. What is this? Me está preguntando de uno. Entonces, it is, right? What is this? It is an earring. So, tenemos it. Si son varios, what are these? Es plural. Entonces, respondo con plural. Ellos son, they are earrings. Tengo un teléfono acá y pregunto, ¿qué es esto? What is this? Singular. Oh, it's a cell phone, right? Porque mi pregunta fue singular. So, si ven un this, la respuesta es singular. Si ven un these, la respuesta es plural. They are. Más o menos, guys. An equation with this. Ahorita vamos a practicarlo. Así que si surgen questions, we will ask in the following. no hay ningún problema. We can uh, take some time to check this together. I would like for you to look at the Okay. And it says, complete these conversations and then practice with a partner. What are these? Si se fijan, son varias. So what are these? They are. These and they. They are keys. What's this? Singular, porque solo hay uno. It's a CD player, porque me está preguntando de uno, yo uso it. It is, ¿ya? Yeah? Ahora, ¿cuántos tengo acá? Tengo dos, ¿cuál puedo usar? Here tengo uno, here tengo uno. Y esto, que son los sunglasses, se consideran plurales siempre, right? So, con eso being said, les voy a brindar cinco minutitos para que en su cuaderno tomen nota de cuál sería la pregunta y cuál sería la respuesta, right? So, questions and answers. Intentémoslo y si tenemos alguna duda, no duden en preguntar. Please let me know what's going on. Thank you, Walter.
finish, teacher. Okie dokie, very nice. Okay, so I see, let me see. I got, tell me, I got, Uh, Douglas, Melendez, um, oh, I'm sorry, no, no había visto la, la pregunta de los lentes. Okay, si son lentes, como los videos que son para leer, they are glasses, right? So they are considered glasses. Si son para el sol, le llamamos son glasses. So there are two types, ambos están bien, pero uno son como para salir cuando se va a la playa, right? They are some glasses. Y los de lectura, or the ones that you wear, eh, they are glasses. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, answers and questions that we have here. Number one and number two, ya están dados para nosotros. Number three, let's take a look at number three. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta, guys? What are these? What, what are, are these? these? Very good. And what is the answer? They are they are, okay, they are backpacks, they are bags, they are, si tienen algo similar, you're good, you're totally fine. Number four, let's take a look at number four. What? What, what is this? What, what is this? Yes. Uno, right? It's a watch. This. It's a watch, perfect. Watch. What is this? Oh, it's a watch, all right. Por qué no, clock. Porque clock es el grandote que se pone en la sala, right? But the one that you're having your race, es a watch. So what is this? It's a watch. Mm -hmm. Number five. What? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Mm -hmm. This is a cell phone. It's a cell phone. It's, it's a cell phone. Very good. And number this six. Yeah. What about number six? What? What are these? What is this? What are these? Porque es plural. What are these? These what are, are is, they are sunglasses. These are uh, sunglasses. These are sunglasses. Perfect. That's very good. Exactly, everybody. So ese es el uso de this and these. No es difícil, but solo de recordarse. This is singular. These are is plural, right? So that is the most important part right there. So, um, in the previous class, estuvimos revisando vocabulario. We were checking some vocabulary for school objects, cosas que tenían en la casa, and, and et cetera, et cetera, right? So, today, vamos a intentar recordar ese vocabulario. Entonces, vamos a hacer pregunta y respuesta. So, please, everybody, tienen 30 segundos. You got 30 seconds para que puedan ir y busquen cinco objetos, ya, lo más, lo que tengan más cerca, whatever you got next to you, y el compañero va a tener que inventarse o intentar adivinar cómo se dice esa palabra. So, you can stand up, pueden pararse, you can stand up really quick, pueden buscar, no sé, una carta, un pedacito de dulce, una galleta, I mean, anything, lo que tengan ahí, un alfiler, uh, I don't know, yo tengo muchas cosas así, creo. I got a lot of things coming to me. Son cinco. It's five. It's only five objects. Y me avisan cuando ya los tenga listos. Let me know when you are ready. Voy a buscar los míos. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay. Veo que los demás todavía andan corriendo there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. You're totally good, you're totally good. Okay, okay, very good. So I got, for example, this one. Uh, so let me show you here. Okay, I got this. What is this? What is this? Remember, la respuesta singular is it. La respuesta plural sería they are, right? So what is this? Do you see my, my screen? What is this? It's a player. Okay, okay. Eso, eso, eso es un juego de mesa. Okay, okay, but como se dice en inglés? So what is sería, this? Sería, mm -hmm. it's a word game. It's a word game, that works. So it's a game, it's a word game, it's a bingo. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's totally good, okay. I got this one. I don't know if you can see this. What is this? 
Esa, si si no lo sabemos, okay. it's okay. Vayamos al diccionario rapidito y busquemos cómo se dice eso, right? Masking tape, very Mas good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a scotch tape. It's a scotch tape. It's masking tape. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's very good. I got, I got, I got this. What is this? What is this? Vira pictures. What is this? You got the name here. <laughs> okay, so what's this? The, uh, it's a painting. Okay, so actually, yeah, it's acrylic. It's acrylic paint. Mm -hmm. And I got also this. I don't know if you can see the name. I hope so. What is this? How do you say recibo? <laughs> oh, this is a bill. It's a bill. Very good. Excellent. Yes. So this is exactly what you will do, okay? No vamos a decir al compañero, mira, esta palabra se dice así, right? Si no, vamos oh. a ver también, vamos a buscar nuestra propia vocabulario, okay? Usted solo le pregunta, muéstrale y pregúntale, what is this? <laughs> And your classmate, okay, se va a rebuscar, como decimos en salvadoreño, okay? para uh, encontrar la palabra. So it's totally fine. Si no se la sabe, no worries. Igual la idea es aprender, right? So uh, habrá en un pedacito, un diccionario por ahí o con el teléfono la busca rapidito and uh, y le dice, oh, it is tal cosa, right? So, ¿todos listos? Is everybody ready? Yes? Yes. 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 Ok. Ok. It's super nice. Yes. So, very good. Vamos yes. a ir a grupos pequeños. Solo son cinco minutos, entonces aprovechémoslo para obtener nuevo vocabulario, right? Si el tiempo se les agota, it's totally fine. Eh, si es como tienen tiempo de sobra, right? Busquen más objetos. Pónganse la difícil, right? <ríe> Major class may think. Ok, háganlos pensar un poquito. So, los eh, invito ahorita. I'm going to send you the invitations right now. Cinco minutos. It's only five minutes. So, super, super quick. Everybody, let's go and let's practice. Ajá, algo así, pero ya se les... Nice, dice. nice color, algo así. Nice, nice de uña. Uh -huh. Oilish, oilish, no sé. Uh -huh. Sí, tiene que ser nice color. Ajá, algo así. Uh -huh. Bueno, empecemos a preguntar <ríe> y lo vamos buscando. Sí. Sí. Bueno, sí. Sí. Ah, sí. Um, Vuelvo no. a mostrar porque no vi que era. Como que sí, 
this uh, notebook? Is this? A book? Um, this is a tablet. Ah, yes, sí. ah una yes. tablet. Era como que era un cuaderno. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, ahora sí. Es que no me había salido en grande. <laughs> What what this? Um, this is a charger. A charger. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice en grapador? Stipler. Stipler. Algo así. <laughs> ¿Cómo? Stipler. 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 Ah, stipler. Con R creo al final. Stipler. Sí. Ah, sí, así sale. Es, se escribe S T A P L R. Sí. ¿Va? ¿Va que sí? Sí, sí. What is this? This is a mouse. This is a mouse. This is a mouse. This is a mouse. What is this? Ay, qué bonito. Son <laughs> beers. Beer, beers. Beer, beers. What is it? This is a wallet. Uh -huh. Un control de televisión. This is a sponsor. Sure. Control TV, TV. Control TV. Uh -huh. Control TV. Uh -huh. What is this? Ah. Uh claro, -huh. ¿cómo se dice? Claro. Keyboard. Keyboard. It's a cable. Keyboard. Keyboard. Mm -hmm. What is this? Keyboard. What is this? The stars. The stars. Quiero ver, yo la encontré de otro modo. It's a pulse. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, uh -huh. esa. Uh -huh. Vaya ahora a otro. Si quieren voy yo. What is this? What is this? The restaurant. Hello. Pero tú mismo te contestaste. Ah, yo me contesté. Al revés era, pues. Solo tenías que mostrar el objeto y te tenían que contestar qué era en inglés. Pero ah. vos lo dijiste. Perdón, al revés lo dije. Ay, pero <risa> ya ahorita le digo. Candy. Bueno. Solo sí, Candy. Solo sí. No, es que Candy no. son dulces. Ser... Hi. Sí, ajá. Hi, guys. Alguien Candy creo que me llamó, but I'm not sure. Teacher, how do you say... Candy eh, Pop. Bombonera? ¿Una qué, perdón? Sorry. Bombonera. De bombones. Uh -huh. Esto. Uh, I would say container. Like, candy like, Box. Like a, a candy uh -huh. box, a lollipop <clears throat> container. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah. So, bombones son lollipops. So, yeah, a lollipop. Fueron dulces, candy. Candy. A candy, a candy container, a candy box, a candy. 
¿Qué más podría ser? Sí, un contenedor. So, es a container. Uh -huh. Y este teacher, cola es de este? pelo. Like a, okay, a hairband. That's a hairband. Bands. ¿Cómo band. se Como una banda. A hairband or a hair band. rubber. Uh -huh. Or a hair rubber, yes. Y en grapadora, ¿cómo sería? Stapler. Se lo voy a escribir oh. en el chat. Pueden buscarlo Bye. en el diccionario. I would truly recommend you eh, que sea algo nuevo. Vayamos buscándolo en el diccionario, you know, para que todos vayamos revisando al mismo tiempo. So, hay vocabulario uh -huh. nuevo para todos. Uh -huh. So, pueden Vamos. encontrar dos o tres formas de decir una palabra. Y está súper bien. It's fine. Uh -huh. Y esta teacher, staple, staple, staple o staple. Stapler, Stapler. 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 Sorry, me quedé en mute y yo decía, like, no. <laughs> and I was talking sorry, and talking. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah, lo voy a encontrar como rubber in the dictionary. That's a rubber. Yeah. That's a rubber. Chicas, denme un segundo que me llame. Hi. Hey there. Alguien me llamó, I think. Sí. Tell me what's going on. What is this? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> what's that? Uh, what is it? In Spanish, what is that? Diego, no se le escucha casi. O no sé si soy yo, guys. Escuchen a Diego. Can you... Guys, escuchen a Diego. Can you hear Diego? Se le estaba escuchando. Pero ahorita ya no. ¿Verdad que no? Ajá, es que yo lo, lo veo como friseado, como si la pantalla se le ha quedado congelada, right? Diego, no le escuchamos. We cannot hear you. Sí, veo que se le activa el micrófono, you Ay. know, pero hoy oh, sí. Ahora sí. Tell me, what is that? What is, what is? Yeah, in, in Spanish, what is that? Uh, so, what's the there, right? Llavero. Son llaveros, no son USB. Ah, sí, no. Aren't they pen, pen drive? I think it's a flash drive. Yo lo veo como, al inicio lo vi como eran, si eran como cuchillas, you know? But it looks like a flash drive. Creo que son memorias USB. Diego, nos confirma en el chat, porfa, es que casi no, no, I cannot hear you. How do you say USB? Ahora sí le escucho. Yo creo que tendría que estar como más cerca. Sorry, Diego, le va a tocar gritar. <laughs> That's a flash drive. Se lo escribí en el chat. A flash drive. Son USB. Hey, Fatima, how you doing? Fatima, no pudo entrar a la sesión. No, teacher, no pude entrar. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, probablemente en la próxima eh, meeting, we can send you there. Regáleme un segundito mientras el resto de compañeros regresan. They are Buenas. coming back. Okay, everybody. So thank you so much for coming back. This is like super, super good. And uh, tell me, please, ¿qué palabras nuevas aprendieron? What new words did you learn? Mm -hmm. 
no words, nadie aprendió ninguna palabra nueva, Every, everything was like pretty basic, o alguna palabra que encontraron por ahí, that you say, oh, no sabía eso, I didn't know that. Atomizer, atomizer. Uh, ok. okay. Uh -huh. Any, candy boots. Oh, the candy box, ok, candy box. a candy uh -huh. box. Candy box. What else? ¿Qué más encontraron? What else did you find? Paper. Eh, Walter? Pooter. P-U-R-E. Pure. P-U-R-E. Pure. What is that? Pure. Cartera. A pours. Like P-U-R-S-E. Gotcha. Ah. Okay, a pores. Mm -hmm. A pores como una cartera de mano, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. yeah, that's a very nice word. Y de hecho se usa bastante, a pores. Okay. Uh, otra palabra, any other word that you got? Chorpanel. Josué? Chorpanel. Oh, the, the Sharp. sharpener, la sacapunta, a sharpener? Yeah. Okay, sacapunta, very good. That's a sharpener. ¿Qué más encontraron? What else did you find? Bracelet. Iris? Bracelet. Bracelet. Okay, like a bracelet. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Stapler. What else? Stapler. What piece? A stapler. Wipes. Flipper. Paper. Okay. Flipper. Corta uña. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Clips. Clips. Head. Head. Sombrero. A head. Okay. Okay. Nice. So I'm really happy. Remember, una and palabra nueva, that's like definitely a lot more. Tell me. And ventilador. Oh, a fan. Okay. Okay. Nice. I like it. That sounds super good. Okay, everybody. I like it. De hecho, escuché eh, por ahí eso en algunos grupos. And I really like it, porque fue como bien interactivo. Yo no sé, eh, what is this? Y, solo, y todos se respondían, you know. That was super cool. Very, very nice job on that. So now que estamos hablando de what is this, right? Venimos a la parte de preguntas. Y todas las preguntas son el, con el verbo to be. Entonces vamos a ver un tema más que es by the end of the class. You will check. Yes, no questions. Uh, with verb to be. Ya les vimos, pero no tan, you know, like detail, digamos, no tan detalladamente. Así que vamos a revisar de qué se tratan las questions with verb to be. Es bien fácil, it's super easy. Todo está en cambiar el orden, ok, de nuestro, del, donde ponemos el verb to be. Yo digo, por ejemplo, I am, solo le cambio el orden y digo, am I, right? So, la semana anterior revisamos un poquito. Ahora revisamos this video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes, no, and where questions with you. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no, where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm, no, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, we're going to follow the next formula. Verb to be plus this, or in this case could be these, plus some kind of complement. So verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that the subject is uh, this or e. So let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this, your wallet. We have the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be is. And then we're going to use this. The complement in this case is your wallet. And then, of course, we put a question mark there. Um, the other example that you see on the screen are these your keys. 
of we have a verb to be these your keys and of course we put a question mark at the end let me give a couple of more examples is this your cell phone question mark at the end are these your things in order to answer this type of questions you're typically going to answer with yes it is no it's not if it's plural for example yes they are no they're not now that we understand yes or no questions with B let's explore WH questions with B we're going to follow a similar rule for WH questions let me go ahead and put that on the screen WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus complement the rule is very simple and it's quite similar as making yes or no questions the only difference is that now we are adding a WH word so what are WH words let me explain we use WH words to get information from others for example who what when where how why are some examples of WH words. Now let's put that rule into practice. If we look at um, the example on the chart, right, we can see the question towards the right hand side. It says, where is your wallet? So if we follow that rule, we're going to put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of complement wallet. And of course, we put a question there. Where is your wallet? Where are my keys? How are you today? Why are you hungry? Where is the police station? To answer WH questions, you now need to give information. For example, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is, it's in my pocket. And also, all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice making yes or no questions and WH questions. You should answer those questions as well. The more you practice, the easier this topic will become for you. Okay, so... Give me a one. Okay, so as you saw in the previous video, um, we got like a specific structure, right? Usamos is this, is or these, this, right? And uh, the, we these. also use, es como lo mismo que ya habíamos visto con el verb to be and you, she, he, etc. Quizás el único detalle, right? Es que en vez de you here, van a tener un this, or van a tener these. Right? El ejercicio de ahora, de hecho, eh, in the platform, es relacionado con esto. Así que vamos a practicar esto, pero lo vamos a hacer de esta forma. Let's take a look at this part. Vamos a ver la parte de where, porque es un poquito más específica. ¿Ok? Tenemos where is your wallet. It is in my pocket. Where are my keys? They are on the table. All right? Tenemos dos palabras claves here. That is, it is in my pocket. They are on the table. Okay. Usando el mismo ejemplo. Let's take a look. Where is your wallet? Guys, ¿a dónde tienen como su billetera? Where is your wallet? Adentro de sus bolsillos, in your pocket, o sobre algo, on. My pocket, for example, my wallet, mi billetera, está sobre la cama. So my wallet is on the bed. All right. On the bed. Uh, what about your wallet? Guys, ¿dónde tienen su wallet? ¿Dónde está su billetera? My wallet is in my car. Okay, so it is in the car. All right. Guys, what about the rest? Gracias que me recordó. Tengo que ir a buscar mi ID que ahí se me perdió. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, ya yeah, se me había olvidado hasta que usted lo mencioné. You know? I lost my ID, perdí mi DUI. All right, guys, tell me, where is your wallet? ¿A dónde tiene su billetera? 
it is or on sobre algo. Claudia? It is, uh, it is on the chair. On the chair. Okay, that's all right. So Claudia's wallet is on the chair. Okay, what about your keys? Where are your keys? It is on the table in this example. My keys, I understand. Yeah, mis llaves también están sobre la mesa. So my keys are on the table. What about your your keys? ¿A dónde las andan? My keys is on the table. Okay, so on the table, all right. And the yeah. others, where are your keys? My keys on the sofa. On the sofa, okay. Pocket, la palabra de aquí es en el bolsillo. Si la andan en la bolsa del pantalón, sería in my pocket también, all right? ¿Alguien anda la llave en la bolsa? Do you have your keys on your pocket? No. Boy, girl. Where are your keys? Delia, where are your keys? Um, this not so jealous, Delia. It, uh, is, it's in poker. It's in your pocket. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's all right. In the let me see. Douglas, where are your keys? Hello. Your keys. Where are your keys? Mm. This question. Where are your keys? Ah, una pregunta. Where are your keys? Eh, okay. Douglas? No, sé, <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. Ya las perdió, Douglas. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay. So the idea is this. On significa sobre, right? In es adentro de algo. Mañana vamos a ver, ver un poquito más sobre el resto de lugares. Cómo puedo indicar a dónde están las cosas, all right? In the meantime, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer para el día de ahora? Ya que todos tenemos ac acceso a la plataforma, les voy a pedir que avancemos un poco, right? En la semana anterior terminaron con la 2.0. Tendría que ser la 2.1, what is in your bag? Y solo era un videito. Para ahora sí vamos a completar la 2.4, ¿ok? Que es esto de acá, where are the keys? Tenemos las instrucciones, luego tenemos un par de ejercicios, tenemos vocabulario y es lo mismo que vimos el día de ahora, ¿ok? So vamos a completar dos ejercicios. Uno, 2.4, anotémoslo, please. 2.4. Segundo ejercicio, vamos a anotar el 2.7, que es exactamente esta parte. Where are your keys? Are, son esas sus llaves? Are these your keys? Is this your key? Y si se, si se fija, solo es de seleccionar yes or no. El, si recuerdan, no solamente es de darle clic acá y, y se completa, right? Sino que es necesario darle clic en enviar al terminar el ejercicio para que le capture. Algunos compañeros tenían como una nota un poquito bajita porque no le estamos dando clic en enviar. Entonces el sistema no le captura esa nota. So, asegúrense, please, de darle clic en enviar para que ya le marque el 100%, all right? So, dos ejercicios para el día de mañana, 2.4, ok, eh, y el 2.7, and that would be for tomorrow. So, everybody, eh, antes de irnos, solamente voy a pasar asistencia, ya que algunos se me habían quedado fuera de la asistencia y no les quiero afectar el control, especialmente a algunos que tienen, you know, eh, una asistencia impecable, así que Permítame un segundito antes de irnos. Give me just one second here. Y les tomo la asistencia. Ok. So, me hace falta. Ya les confirmo. I am missing Ana Esmeralda. Present. Thank you, Miss. Eh, Claudia Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Miss. Present. Thank you. Uh, I'm missing Daniela Stephanie. Creo que la vi por ahí. Present. Excelente. Gracias, Miss. And uh, Iris Wendy también la vi por ahí. Present. Awesome. Catherine Giselle. 
Here, Miss. Yes. Recuerda que me escribió there. Mercy Stephanie. Present. Thank you so much, Mercy. And uh, Milagro Elizabeth. También dio Milagro por ahí. Present. Thank you. I got uh, Reina Elizabeth. Reina Isabel, perdón. Reina. And Vilma Contreras. Vilma, ¿está por acá? Present. Thank you so much. Okay, everybody, so thank you so much for your attendance. Nos vemos el día de mañana, okay? I will be seeing you tomorrow con los dos ejercicios completados, please. Voy a recibir, voy a revisar antes que demos inicio a la sesión eh, y ahí lo voy a estar molestando que me las completen si todavía me hacen falta. Please. Thank you, everybody, and have a rest good, uh, a very nice Bye, teacher. 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 Bye, teacher.